Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Shopper. Here to break down the Tuesday NBA slate as you come in. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I really like the scheduling for this week because typically Tuesdays are really small slates. Not the case today. We've got 10 games on Tuesday, really balanced games across the NBA this week, which should make for some better betting options as we go through. And there are definitely some things that I've really liked today. And we got off to a good start yesterday as well because I had three bets in my betting video yesterday and all three of them hit. So we had for the slate yesterday, all three bets were from the Spurs and Jazz games. I had the under rebounds for Walker Kessler. That ended up hitting. I had the over rebounds for Devin Vassell. That ended up hitting. And then I had the over rebounds for Yaka Pertl. That was also a winner. So went three for three on those. But in addition, I also had one bet that I added to my premium betting Discord channel. It was Paul George minus four and a half points against Bojan Bogdanovic. And that also won. So swept the board yesterday. I was really happy with the results. And hopefully we keep that going today. And then also something that was kind of fun is if you guys follow Eric and all the videos that he does on the YouTube channel, he's massively high on Bojan Bogdanovic. Bets is over on points nearly every single slate. And both of us won our bets yesterday. Bojan hit his over, but still Paul George had a big game, scored over 30 fantasy, uh, 30 real life points. So uh, still ended up covering the spread minus four and a half to outscore Bojan Bogdanovic. So a uh, profitable night all around was pretty happy with it. Hopefully it leads to more good results on Tuesday. Now, if you guys haven't signed up for our premium betting discord, you get one week free access by clicking on the link below. And now is the time to sign up because at the start of the new year, the price are going to be doubling. But if you've already signed up in this year, you're going to get grandfathered into the old price. So if you want to try it out, one week free access by clicking on the link below. Let's talk about the Tuesday NBA slate. These are my favorite bets of the day. To start us off here, I'm betting over one and a half threes for John Morant, and this is a plus money bet. So John Morant over one and a half threes can be bet, can be bet for plus 126 odds. We actually have him projected for two threes in our projections. And when you look at some of the recent games for John Morant, he's been shooting a lot more three pointers. So he's coming off a game where he knocked down two threes against the Warriors. And overall, if you look at recent games from two against the Warriors, three against the Nuggets, two against the Bucks, two against the Thunder, three against the Pistons, two against the 76ers, two against the Minnesota Timberwolves. So since November 27th, so the last month for John Morant, he's actually only had three games where he's not hit multiple three-pointers. So this one looks too low to me, and it's plus money on the over. Our projections like the over on it. And a little bit of a fun narrative here, because recently in interviews, John Morant said he's not concerned about any teams in the Western Conference heading into the playoffs. He said the biggest threat to the Memphis Grizzlies winning a title this year is the Boston Celtics. He doesn't think any teams in the West pose a threat. And they lost to the Warriors in the game after that. Not just lost, they actually got blown out. So uh, maybe a little bit of motivation for John Moran to play with additional usage today. Not that factors in too much into the process, but just kind of a fun story to tell. Our projections like the over here, it's plus money as well. So I think it's really good value. John Moran over one and a half three pointers. If you guys haven't signed up at DraftKings Sportsbook yet, here's an easy way to make $150. All you're going to need to happen is the Celtics to win against the Houston Rockets today, and you're going to make $150. Here's how you take advantage of this. You're going to click on the link below to sign up, and then after clicking on that link, you make a DK Sportsbook account, and you place a $5 money line bet on the Boston Celtics, and as long as they win, this is going to pay out $150. That is the current promo offer being done over at DraftKings Sportsbook for new signups. It's any $5 money line bet. As long as that team wins, it pays out $150. I think the Celtics are near locks to win against the Houston Rockets. And we don't need them to cover the spread, just need them to win outright with this offer. So you sign up using that link below because you're going to need that link to get credited with your money. And then when the Celtics win, you're going to get paid $150. It is that easy. The next bet I like, it's another plus money bet. This one for Buddy Heald over four and a half rebounds. We've been projected for just north of five in our projections. And there's stuff to really like about Buddy Heald, starting with this. The Pacers are playing smaller lineups now. For, for a while, we had Jalen Smith starting the front court alongside Miles Turner. Ended up being a total disaster. Jalen Smith got off to a decent start to the year, but really started to fall off in recent games. To the point where not only did he lose his spot in the starting lineup, he's kind of starting to fall out of the rotation entirely. Bit of an issue for the Pacers because they just signed him to a big contract extension before the season started. So now we look at the lineup that the Pacers are playing. And their new starters are Tyrese Halliburton, Andrew Nemhard, Buddy Heald, Aaron Neesmith, and Miles Turner. A much smaller starting lineup, which creates more rebounding opportunities for Buddy Heald. And as a result of that, I think he's being a little bit undervalued in this rebound prop market. Not only is it four and a half, 
but it's plus money on the over. And as is, Buddy Heald is actually averaging 4.6 rebounds per game. So typically, we would look at a 4.6 rebound uh, average compared to a 4.5 rebound prop. I think it's about a fair line, but it's plus money on the over. And now better rebounding opportunity presents itself for Buddy Heald with the starting lineup change. So next bet of the day, over four and a half rebounds for Buddy Heald. And one final rebound prop of the day that I like the over on, it is Chris Paul over three and a half rebounds, taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. So a couple of bets that I like for star players in this game, talked about John Morant before. Now I'm going to talk about Chris Paul, who is going to be benefiting from the absence of Devin Booker in multiple ways. One of them is just going to be in the, in the points and assist department. We're going to see Chris Paul have more usage. The ball is going to be in his hand. So more scoring, more assist opportunities. But here's something else to consider. With Devin Booker out, the Suns are going to have to rely on Chris Paul to play additional minutes. And with that being the case, we just have to expect all of his counting stats to go up, especially when you consider that campaign remains out for the Phoenix Suns. So they don't really have a solid backup point guard to get to. Usually it's Chris Paul and Devin Booker sharing a lot of the ball handling duties. And when they're healthy, it's campaign coming off the bench to play uh, backup point guard minutes. And they just don't have that as an opportunity right now. We saw Devin Booker try to return from a groin injury, and he was only able to make it a few a few minutes into last game before re-injuring his groin. So all that considered, this is going to be a team that relies very, very, very heavily on Chris Paul going forward. And I don't think books have quite adjusted for it. So Chris Paul over three and a half rebounds. It's my final prop bet of the night. So recapping my three prop bets, I've got John Moran over one and a half threes, Buddy Heald over four and a half rebounds. Those two are both plus money bets. And then finally, Chris Paul over three and a half rebounds. Let me know below in the comment section what you guys think about these bets. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Or are there just other bets you really like on the slate that I didn't talk about that you think I should have? Let me know about that below in the comment section. But also before you leave, do me a big favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck and enjoy all the games tonight.